this is a dc power supply my dear technician you're welcome back to my new video today video i want to show you how a dc power supply works how to use it and everything about a dc power supply my dear technician so let me take my time to remove the tape check this out i'm taking my time to do this you don't have to rush okay just take your time to do everything if you're getting a dc power supply my dear technician make sure you take your time to do everything my dear technician so this is a dc power supply my dear technician so this is a 30 volt and 5 amps dc power supply right here we have to display the first one the second one my dear technician so in this video i'm going to be explaining the meaning of all these buttons and how to use them okay but before then let me show you let me just turn around and show you how a dc power supply look like the back side check this out let me turn my camera for you to see the back side the left and right and the back side of a dc power supply my dear technician check this out so let me turn my camera to the back side for you to see the back view of this dc power supply check this out okay my dear technician you can get the exactly type of this dc power supply either through online store or physical store okay my dear technician so let me start the explanation step by step okay here we have the v v means volt okay this first display here is for voltage check this out this first display here is for voltage the second one is a the a is for arms so the first display is for voltage while the second display is for arms my dear technician here we have ovp OVP means over voltage protection. The second one is called OCP, which is over current protection. The third one is CC, which is constant current. The fourth one now is CV. CV means constant voltage. And the fifth one is out. Out means output. Okay. So here we have M1, M2, M3. Okay. This is just memory. Okay. The M stands for memory. And here we have buttons so check this out you can see right here memory so when you click m1 here it's going to show indicator that you just click m1 okay so all this m1 m2 m3 m4 is for memory where you can easily save voltage and arms for later use or anytime you want to use just click the button it's going to show the voltage okay you get my point now this button right here is for over current protection and the other one is for over voltage protection my dear technician so we have on and off button the on and off button is for output voltage okay so here we have the adjust so this button you can easily use it to adjust the voltage here we have the select button here we have the voltage to current button my dear technician so the next thing is the output okay right here you have the positive check this out the red is for positive so let me show you the second one this is black black is for negative check this out and the last one here is for ground okay my dear technician if you have any question feel free let me know in the comment section okay let me know if you have any question in the comment section let me know what you think about this video let me know in the comment section okay let me turn on the dc power supply and show you how it works check this out so i just turn on the dc power supply now my dear technician first thing here we have zero five zero zero the second one is two zero 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 okay remember what i told you when i started this video i said that the v stand for volt why the a stand for arms check this out v is for volt a is for arms so right here we have m1 my dear technician so this m stand for memory you can easily save any volt and arms to these memories okay m1 is for memory one m2 is for memory two m3 is for memory three m4 is for memory four okay take for example i need five volts and two amps so i can easily save five volts and two amps to the first memory so that anytime i need five volts and two amps i'll just click memory one and the five volts and two amps appears on the screen without stressing myself setting five volts and two amps again okay so that is one of the benefit of the memory and i love the memory option okay i love it so much my dear technician so this is the cable that comes 
with the DC power supply. This is the output cable that comes with the DC power supply. So let me turn on the output. Okay. Let me turn on the output. Right now you can see we don't have any sparking. There's no volt. So let me turn on the output. Before you start using your DC power supply to do anything, make sure you turn on the output. Now we have output now. So let me test now for you guys to see. Check this out. Now we have output. You can see the spark to show that the output is working. We have voltage in the output. There's voltage in this wire. So we can now use the voltage to do anything you want to use it to do. My technician, you can easily use this DC power supply to open a short circuit, both half short and full short. Okay, both half short and full short. And not just that, you can use this DC power supply to do a whole lot of things like turning on a phone, like checking if voltage is flowing in without anything blocking, like knowing if the phone is consuming battery. There are a lot of things that you can use a DC power supply to do. Let me quickly show you how you can set voltage and amps. Just click this button. Let me show you. Let me click it now. Check this out. Now you can see that this is blinking. You can easily set it. Set the number, the voltage that you want. Just set it. It's very simple. It's very simple to do. Set the amps. When you're done, just allow it for a while. It's going to automatically save on its own. Check this out. You can just set the amps and set the voltage okay my dear technician please if you have any question please 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 let me know in the comment section okay if you have any question concerning this dc power supply how to use it just anything at all if you have any question let me know in the comment section okay if you want to learn more how to use it to open a circuit how to use it to check if phone is consuming battery you know and a whole lot of things join my youtube channel Join my training class to learn a lot of things. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now. I love you all.